First things first is don't ever warm up before your matches. Warming up will likely give you that feel for the game so you can be ready to perform. So avoid this at all costs. A workshop map that should be entirely avoided is aimbots. I'll put a link to that map in the description so you know to stay away from it. So be sure to open up Counter-Strike or the Face It website and just click play. This will ensure you perform poorly in game and lose gunfights you would otherwise win. Okay, this is a big one. Don't ever watch your demos. Watching your demos will give you incredible insight to improve as a player. This can be terrible if you're wanting to never improve. Now, if you plan face it, be sure to never click on the match room of the game you recently played. And if you're in there, on accident, don't click watch demo. Whatever you do, do not extract that file into Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Goal Offensive, Game, CSGO. And if somehow you manage to accidentally do all of that, whatever you do, don't rename that .dem file to a file name you can remember. And if somehow you found yourself with a demo file in your game directory, be sure not to open up your console and type play dem and then whatever the file name that you just so happen to name it as. But if somehow you got yourself into a demo of your previous match, whatever you do, don't start analyzing your deaths and figuring out ways to improve. Also, if you start comparing your replays with those from pro players, then well, you're, you're just a lost cause and I, I can't help you. Before we get into our next topic, it's time for a word from our sponsor. Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a fully automated CS2 trading site. Skins Monkey provides an instant way to get new skins. Along with that, they have a 24-7 live chat support. So if you run into any problems, they'll be right there to help you. If you're interested in finding a specific skin, you can use their search tool. Better yet, if you're not sure what skin you're looking for, you can use their filter tool to find exactly what you're looking for. If you use my promo code Ride or Die, you can earn up to $5 for free. Trade up $100 to make the most of it. Now, if you don't want to trade your skins, but you'd rather buy, Skins Monkey is now offering a 30% deposit bonus. And if you use my promo code Ride or Die, you'll receive an additional 5%. This is not a one-time use, so you can use my promo code Ride or Die to receive that 35% deposit bonus as often as you'd like. Now, if all that wasn't enough, Skins Monkey also gives you the opportunity to win free skins every day. All you have to do is join their giveaways. Remember, use code Ride or Die to get up to five dollars for free and claim your 35% deposit bonus. Thank you, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. You have to blame your teammates if you want to remain stuck at your current rank. What this is going to allow you to do is subconsciously shift that accountability for your own performance and just put it on your teammates. Make sure you do this regardless if you genuinely think you're losing because of them or not. If you've ever had that thought, maybe that round was my fault, just say to yourself, my teammates are baiters. Be sure to stick to this during every match so you can never discover your shortcomings and improve as a player. Don't talk, don't listen, don't learn callouts, and in fact, just be toxic. In fact, what you should do is disable your microphone in settings and after the first round you lose, type, GG, my team is full of baiting bots. This is really effective because it not only lowers team morale, but essentially forces your team to communicate as four. This will likely keep you stuck in your current ELO. Be sure to try it. For the love of God, whatever you do, don't develop a practice routine. The easiest way to climb out of your current ELO is design a practice routine and remain consistent to it. But if you somehow manage to accidentally start practicing regularly, make sure it doesn't consist of a mixture of aim training, death matching, and movement training. Whatever you do, stay away from sites such as Prac.com and Refrag. Both of these websites are hosted deathmatch servers and pre-fire maps. Using those resources almost guarantees you that you improve, so stay away. I've linked both of these in the description so you know which sites to stay away from. There are plenty of incredible resources on YouTube that can be used to improve. So if you're wanting to be hard stuck, you should never, ever, under any circumstances, watch people like Stiko, Austin CS, CS Tactics, Wilson CS2, or Vu. There are plenty of other content creators, but if you find yourself binge watching these videos, there's a really good chance you'll start improving. I've gone ahead and linked those content creators down below just so you know which ones to stay away from. Do not be consistent. Make sure that you only play a match every week or so, maybe even less. If you mix this in with never practicing or warming up, it honestly makes for something really special. The only way someone can actually improve at anything is if they remain dedicated and consistent with what they want to do. So don't do that. Okay, obviously this video was entirely satire, but the reason why I want to make a video like this was to shed some light on some bad habits people tend to form after playing Counter-Strike for such a long time. If you're actually serious about improving and something that I mentioned in the video struck a chord with you, perhaps it's time to reflect on your approach to the game and see where you can get better. Be honest with yourself about your approach to the game and if you're genuinely wanting to improve at the game, make sure you're not doing any of what I mentioned before. The nature of my channel is to provide insightful Counter-Strike content that you can use to become a better player. So if that's your intention, I recommend you take a look at what else I have to offer. That'll be it for the video. I know it's kind of different from what I usually make, but I feel like I wanted to experiment with a different kind of content. 
If you have any feedback for me or if you didn't like the video or you did like the video, regardless of what it is, please leave a comment down below so I can see what you guys think. Before I close out the video, I want to quickly shout out to all the Ride or Die members. Massive shout out to Breezy, Trade ICS, Tony, Link CS, Wishy, Sparta. Big shout out to Wilson CS2, Demi, Charlie, Scarpace, Covey, and Monty. The membership has only been open for a few weeks and already a ton of you guys are showing support, which I really cannot thank you enough for. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to join the Ride or Die Discord. We do giveaways every week and we'll be hosting another knife giveaway at the end of June. But that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with my content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified. Thanks for watching.